give up the cahoots. There's always a way, always. Now, today I'm going to show you how to find an angle. When you don't know what the angle is, how do you find it out? Well, there's several techniques and ways for doing this to determine the angle. All right, so let's turn this camera around. Now, if angle, all right, now. This is at a 35 degree. Okay, so that's up tight. It's tight on the sides, and there is the angle. Okay, now how do you find out? How do you determine the angle? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay. I'll show you how to find your angle. Quick and easy, actually. All right, there's two methods. Actually, there's three different ways. You can have a protractor. Something like this. Something that will give you the degrees of measurement. All right. This slides. This spins. And it gives you the angles. Okay, now that's one way. There's another way. You take your level. Okay. I'm just kind of holding it so it's straight up and down. And where the bubble tells me it's level. So you get the bubble level. And you know it's straight up and down. No, it's vertical. All right. The other way is you eyeball your speed square. All right. So... I want to show you these different techniques and how to go about determining what your angle is. All right, now on the end of this post, it's extension for this thing before a light post, and um, put a camera on it. All right, so this is a 35 degree that I have cut. Now I want to pop. So that it's straight up and down. All right, but if I make it at a 45, and this is at an angle, it's not going to work. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so now we're going to take our board, and we're going to get it set up. So let's get this set up. All right, so I'm going to get this here, get it at the proper angle, okay, so now, it's a proper angle, so I'm going to have to raise this up here and hold it in the front, so I don't have three hands, all right, we need something to add as a support, so we can demonstrate this. Okay, now. So now we're there. This is the angle that this is going to sit at. So, what I'm going to have to do is, is this. Now we're going to get this put on. Yeah. yeah. Nope. Nope. Can't do it. Okay. Now we're gonna get this set up. All right, and you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now So if we get this out here at the angle, we're going to get it set up. So we're going to get it set up at this 35 degrees. All right. And if you don't know what that is, we're going to show you how you determine that right now. Right. We're going to use several different ways or methods to figure this out.
Okay. Now, like I was saying, take your torpedo level or any level. This is the most easiest to use. And you want this bubble down here between the two black lines. And when it is, you know it's perpendicular or running vertical, all right? So I'm going to put it right here at this corner where I'm going to be cutting it, all right? And then I'm going to hold it here at this corner, all right? This outer edge. Then I'm going to get the bubble straight up and down. Now, that bubble is now between my lines. Okay, and with this bubble between my lines, I can then take my pencil and mark it. That's one way, okay? Now, or you can slide in, I can come here with my speed square. And I can eyeball this where this is running straight down, running perfectly as straight as I can see it, straight up and down. So when my speed square, okay, is straight up and down to the floor, has a 90 with the floor at this point, and then this levels off at this point here, all right? So when I have a 90, to the floor so this is running perfectly straight up and down I know just by sighting it in that I am very close to where I need to be if not exactly on it okay so then you just sit here and you mark it down BAM okay and then I'll I can double check it I can take my level my, my speeds my torpedo level and I can put it on this line here and I can check it and if I line it up with that pencil line and I'm level I'm between my bubble my bubbles between the lines I know I'm good all right so I'll now show you this up close and personal this is where you see everything up close and personal all right so let's get it dialed in Thank you for being here. Now you'll be able to see what I'm seeing up close and personal. Okay. As I'm getting her dialed in here. All right, now, get her with me. All right, can you see that pencil line on the 4x4? Four four? Yes, it's very faint, but it's running right here, right from that corner. All right, now I'm going to line this up with that pencil line. Okay, there it is. Get it lined up just like that. Now, let's see where we're at on the bubble. Okay, down here at the bottom. Let's see where it falls. Okay. Get it lined back up. Bam. Good enough for what we're doing. Okay, it's not a hundred. Well, that looks pretty good there. Okay. And that was eyeballing it with the speed square. All right. So if I come back here on this corner and I bring it here. Okay. Then I come down. And I get this tilted at the right angle. There I am. Then I hold this in place and I mark it right there. And I'll be perfect. And that's what I'm going to do now. And then I'll show you how that protractor works. Okay, now. Okay. Let's 
So, or I could even bring this up here where it's at the top and bring it up here above. Bring it above, okay. And get this where it's between my lines. Okay. There we are. Mark it. All right. Now, it's marked there. Now, let's see. Let's get this. And get that to hold that. We're good. Okay. Now, the protractor. The protractor, we're going to zoom this out. Okay. And. All right. Then. Now, we're going to bring this. Here, all right, now we get this straight up and down. Okay. Well, that's now vertical. That is not quite vertical. This is now vertical. Okay. That's too much of an angle, does it? That's about right. Now, what degree do we have? We have like a 35, okay, about 37 degree angle there. Okay. So now, let, let's say we don't know what it is yet, right? We don't know what that angle is. Now, the speed square will also tell you the angle. All right, just by lining this up here. I'll show you that. Okay. Just by lining up the pencil line with this outer edge, let's zoom in where you can see. Okay, let's zoom out a bit. All right, now, by lining up the pencil line, all right, right here, Okay, we're lined up. Now, right here is where we're at. Right at this edge right there. There we are. See the see the edge of your 4x4 four four behind it. All right. We are looking at... See, right down here, it tells us that we are at about... Come on down, see down here, there's 45. So if you take this point all the way down, we've got like about 37 again. And that's how we know. Now, let's say, let's say all I have is the torpedo level. Well, if, if you have a slide saw or a compound or a chop saw, all right, remember you have degrees on your chop saw. So, Let's take this over here to the chop saw. And let's see how this works over here on the chop saw. Okay.
Okay, these lines are really faint, and I was trying to find them. Okay, now. Now let's get you dialed in over here. Okay. Well, thank you for being here. Now I'm going to show you down here on the table are degrees. All right, there's the degrees right there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the blade to the pencil lines on the 4x4. And when I get the saw blade lined up, which I'll show you, on the 4x4, I'll be right at the exact angle that I need to be set at. Okay, well, I'm going to have to turn it this way. Okay. Bam. And there's my exact angle there. And I am sitting at... I am sitting at... Actually, this is telling me that I am sitting at 30, thirty-four. All right. Now, so we can call it thirty-five. I'm sitting at thirty-four, and I'll show you what I'm talking about right now. Okay. Wow. Sorry. Okay, now I will show you what we're doing right here. Now, this has a, the light above shines down the blade and it creates a line on your material. Okay. So, first I'm going to do is... This pencil line is very hard to see, but that pencil line is right here, okay, and it goes up, okay, very hard to see, I should have marked it better. All right, now we can see it a little better. All right, right there. Okay. Let's if I can't zoom in a little more. All right, now you can see that pencil line. It's still not as dark as I'd like it to be. So, what we do is we line up the blade with it. Okay. So, we line this up with the blade. Bam. As you see, this line here is coming from the saw blade. All right. You see the line move. All right. That's like a laser light without being a laser light. Very, very good design. So my pencil line is back here where my finger is. All right. There's the center of it right there. You can kind of see it. And you can see the line from the blade is here. So I'm going to line this line up here with the, with the line there coming off the blade. I'm dead on it. Okay, and that's at 34 degrees. Now, if I'm going to connect a piece to that, what? how do I get it to be straight up and down? Because if I put another angle on there, it's going to change the angle and it won't be vertical when I'm done. It won't even be close to vertical. All right. So, what do I do 
in order to make it vertical? That's the question. Okay, so. To make it vertical. Because if I do 235s, I'm going to end up with a 75 degree angle, right? I mean, 235s would be a 70 degree angle. And then it would be way back. It wouldn't be straight up and down, but it'd be pushed. I'd have this running inward like this rather than keeping it vertical. All right, so this cuts a 35 degree cut for it to be straight up and down, like if it was 245s. So what do I do with that 45? Actually, it's a 44, but we're going to make it a 45. Or even a 44 works. Okay, so what do we do? Split that 35 in half. 30, I mean, yeah, we're going to split that 35 in half. Actually, that 44 in half, I'm sorry. If we split, well, if we split the 40, not 35, but if we split the 44 degrees in half, we have 12. So I'm going to cut the piece on the saw at 12. I'm going to set, I'm going to cut the down piece on that section at 12 and a half. And we will have four degrees and it should be per perpendicular. It should be vertical when we're done. All right. So let's get it cut and let's find out how it's going to turn out. And then I'm going to mount it. Okay. So let's get it cut and we will get this mounted. You know, a lot of people don't mess with their phones and they set their phone 10 feet away and you don't see anything, you know. But I want you to see what I'm doing and understand what the process of what's going on. So let's get this down here where you can see what's happening on the saw. Oh, and by the way, my last video, it's the angles on the, when you're videotaping, it makes my hand look like I'm right here next to my material and I'm going to cut myself. My hands are never in the way close to that saw. It's over here and out of the way always over here. So the, remember the angles with your camera can make your hands look closer to something than what they are. And value, I value my fingers, okay? So you never, never. Okay, I'm going to move this to now to the 12 degrees. All right, 12 and 12. 12 and 12 is 24. I said 44. I'm sorry, that's 22 degree angle. That was all. That, I'm going to set this at a 22 degree angle. All right, because 22 and 22 is 44. You guys were waiting to watch to see what I was going to do. Watch me screw up, huh? All right. So, 20, that's, that's 22 and a half. All right. We're going to make it 22. Right here. Well, 22 and a half would make it 45. Be a slight back. No, so we're going to do right there. All right. Now we're going to bring this up here to this angle. And then I'm going to mount it to a post when I'm done. Okay. There we go. You want to press down on the table and back to the fence when you cut. Okay, I'll lose that angle. Okay, now let 
let's see what we have here. This is going to come together like this. All right. But now when it's up at an angle, we're going to we're going to see if I'm right. Am I right? Did I mess up? That's the question. That's the question. This is live, not Memorex. All right, so let's go get this in place. And let's see if I just messed up. And so, there is no pause on this. So we're going to find out. Not now, but right now. All right. Now, let's see what the deal is. Okay. So bear with me one moment while I get set up. All right. Half of 44, or is it? Or do I come down? Did I mess up? We're going to find out if I messed up. All right, I may need to cut two at 45, right? Give me an 80 degree angle. But we're gonna find out right now if it's live or if it's memory. If I messed up. Now, let me get this at the angle. All right. So we're getting this in position here. Okay, so we're getting our set up and ready to row. Not now, but right now. All right, now. So what should I have done? Should I have made two at 45, which would give me an 80 degree angle? Is that what should have happened? Can you tell me? If that's what should have happened, well, you're getting ready to find out right now. Maybe I need to make two of them at 45, which will give me a 80 degree angle. Okay. So is that what I needed to do? Well, folks, it looks like <laughs> I'm going to have to make that a 45 and a 45. So, we're going to make them both at a 45. And we're going to see if I get it right. You always learn better when you see someone else mess up, right? It's like, that's what you don't do and that's what you remember. All right. So now, two at 45. 45 and 45 make that 90, not 80, I said 80. Not 80, but 90. 45 and 45 gives me a 90. Okay, so here we go. 45, right there, right there. Let's see what happens. 
Okay. set up all right here we go All right, is this going to give me what I'm looking for? Is this going to drop straight down for me? Because I want it to be vertical, just like this. Is that going to do it? Okay. Let's see. Bam. There we have it, folks. That's the ticket. Let me see what you're seeing. Looks like that'll work to me. All right. Now. That's how you find your angles. All right, and so that will do the trick. That will do the trick. All right, but I'm going to have to make that shorter, it looks like. All right, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. And appreciate your time. Okay. I'm Ken. This is Easy Two Tips and Tricks where you see everything up close and personal. So, you've seen a mistake or two. You've seen it fixed. And uh, that will work, but it's looking like I'm wanting to change that a bit and give it some more drop. Okay, so I figure I'm going to make that at 260s. I'm going to create, I'm going to cut this at 60 degrees a piece. All right, that way it will run. At a slight angle, I can make some adjustments on it that way. So, uh, let's do that. And then we will screw it together. Okay. So, let's turn this around. Okay. So.
hit a nail. Never, never want to hit a nail. All right, that'll work. All right, we're going to screw this in and then we're going to go mount it. All right. RG, how's it going? I, uh, it's been a little while. I had to make these two at 60 degree angles as it turns out. And, uh, so being rusty kind of showing telling on me right now all right because i'm going to set this up thanks for being here this is going on a post for light for camera you know all right there's this and as you see bam they light up light up they line up just like they're supposed to I'm going to put some Tide Bond glue on them and uh, get them glued up and screwed, glued and screwed. As they're falling down on me. Are you still in the house, RG? I want to go get my glue. Are you still in the house? I'm in the house, can you tell? All right. I'm looking for my glue. Uh, I know it's right here somewhere. Maybe it's nowhere. One thing about being live, you know. Everything you do kind of shows up. All right, here we go. Got some of Tide Bond glue too. Tide Bond 2 is water resistant. Tide Bond 3 is water resistant. Uh, so Tide Bond 3 is a little better. I'm going to get these glued and screw them, screw them. I'm going to screw them. <laughs> going to screw them together. <laughs> it isn't what, with the way I know where it is until I need it. Yep, yep, don't know where it is until you need it. Well, I had a, I had a clue. I had a clue. All right. But this glue is thicker than molasses. Um, so I should probably get me a little stick. That'll speed up the process. Okay. That trim I made turned out really good. That trim I turned, I redid looks uh, brand new on the front side. You'd never know. Um, look, how this stuff is thick, thicker than glue, thicker than glue, thicker than honey. I've had it for a while. 
Tide Bond 3, like I say, that's waterproof. This is water resistant. And I anticipate it to work really well. You're gonna put up any content on your channel? Or are you, are you gonna put up some new content on your channel, should I say? And this and this is walmanized. Uh, you know, it's green board. So it's ideal for this. It's not it's not a regular two by four. Dad didn't think to mention that. But uh yeah, this is um, made for weather. Yes, I am going to be uploading some new stuff soon. Good, good. What do you have in mind? What do you have in mind there, RG? Yeah, I'm kind of frustrated with this video, but I'm live, you know, keep it real, mistakes and all. Ah, I guess I'll just do it this way. on it I put that on the wrong side I'm awake and cooking with Crisco let me tell you not <clears throat> that won't hurt though it won't hurt all right now get this applied right here something like that okay now Okay, one down, at least two more to go, at least. Now what I like to do even is I put glue on my screws Glue 
to your screws helps to kind of hold them create some lubrication for them going in to, you know and uh, it's a win 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 tell a friend all right there we go oh what am I doing let's see if I can't I don't want to split my wood but I think I can get away with this Think. We're going to find out right now if I can get away with this. Looks like I'm having trouble already. That's not a good sign. Now, this wood's fairly soft. So I'm thinking maybe. Are you serious? You're going to show me. <laughs> Bad form. All right. All right. Got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to drill. <laughs> Screwed it up. Cannot leave it good enough alone. Ah, not liking that. Okay, I'll get another one up here and I'll be a happy camper. Now, I'm going to have to go outside and mount this. <sighs> One moment. I'm going to have to mount this, but I've got to get a couple more screws. Now, a few more screws and I'll be in like play. Yeah, I don't want to use nails. I could, but I don't want to use nails. There we go, we've got some outdoor rust resistant screws, deck screws. All right. Now, now we're gonna take this out here. We're going to get it mounted on the post. All right, so bear with me. Kind of set up. Oh. One moment, please. All right, 
Thanks for hanging out here. We're getting ready to mount this on the post outside. All right. So, one moment. Alright, we're part way there, I'm going to have to set you up to look at the sunset for a minute, well the sunset that's going down that is, alright, whoa, alright, so I'll be right back. Sorry, there's no music. You can, you don't want me to sing either. All right, so I'll be, so just bear with me. Be right back. Temporary intermission. <laughs> All right. Now. Okay. We are going out to the post. I got to grab a ladder in just a second. Can't do this without a ladder. All right. Let me show you this. There you go. Thanks for being here. All right. Okay, here we go, getting her set up, not now, but right now, all right, there's the post, all right, RG, be right back, RG Homestead. Okay, so we will be mounting this in just one moment. So please bear with me.
All right. Thanks for being here. Now we can get set up. One minute. One. All right. Now. All right.
All right. Now. Now, hold on. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for being here. Should be up. This should work. Well, well, it looks, looks like I'm going to have to get another ladder, um, create some braces. And then I'll be able to get that mounted. I'll have to put some supports on left and right side on the 4x4 going out that I can anchor it to in the sides. Then it will hold it for me. And then I'll be able to drill it in and get it mounted. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, appreciate your time. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate your patience. Um, it just, just keeps it real. All right. So on that post, I'm going to have to have two arms. Left and right side, two by fours. Going out, anchored to the sides. And I'll be able to screw in to my arm extension off the post. And that'll anchor it. Um, where I get a two by four and I put it upright and but anyways that's the best way to go about doing it a couple two by fours left and right side and screw them into the four by four then get that but get the arm between it screw in and then I can anchor it to the post then remove them 
Thanks for being here. God bless. Bye for now. Never give up because there's always a way, always. And we'll see you on the next one. Tell a friend it's a win, win, win. Bye for now. God bless.